On today's show, Steve came up with a way to con people out of a free dinner. It's not, it's not, I didn't con people, okay? But Scott did find 10 laws in Germany that may not work in the U.S. And then, of course, we talk about bad dog owners. Bad dog owner, bad dog owner. And we remind you to enter the poster contest. Give up on my way. Oh, yeah. Welcome to What Happened to the World Today. I'm Steve. And I'm Scott. And this is a tale of how bad life decisions led to a YouTube show. And we're going to talk about what we've noticed is going on in the world today. Yeah. Ta-da. I have a public service announcement to start the show off. Oh, cool. I love those. Yes. So the more you know. Um, that, that, yeah, NBC, they do little things right. Okay, so uh, I know how to get free dinners. I love free dinners. I know you do, but you're eating healthy now, so you can't have free dinners. Well, oh, yeah, you can have free healthy dinners. If you come out here, I'll buy you a free whole food plant-based dinner. Why would you want to waste your money? Oh, you'd love it. You, oh, I know. You'll just put it in a container and take it home and eat it. Later. I, took, I took a friend with who said, the only reason I'm coming with is because – I'm going to prove to you that number one, I'm going to be hungry at the end of the meal. And number two, I'm not going to like any of the food. Couldn't finish all the food we ordered and we didn't order that much. We ordered an appetizer and we ordered two meals and we split it. Right. He ordered a dish, I ordered a dish so he could try more. Right. Yeah. He liked all of it. Thought it was all tasted, tasted, Is that a word tasted, tasted. Yes. Taste, it all tastes really well, really good. <laughs> Wow. My, Ridley? My, my, my English grammar. I'm not speaking so good USA today. Do, do you have third grade education? I don't think so. Um, it's just one of those days. Uh, so, but he says, I, I enjoyed it and I'm full. I can't finish everything. So, ha. Huh. Well, that's because, that's because, well, the donuts that you took them to get, get that, what was the name of that place you went to? Oh, Donut Mania. Yeah, no. Oh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. It is good. It's just, you know, not what I'm doing right now. I know. So, and you shouldn't either because you have to lose how much weight? Well, I don't have to lose weight. I have to get my sugars down, which I already have. Okay. But I'd also like to lose. You said 20 pounds, right? Well, yeah, that's what I would like. To okay. 20 pounds in two and a half months. It's doable. Yes. So yeah. Good. I'm, I'm, I'm adding a New Year's. I'm adding a new February's resolution. For you. Febru March, February. February. New March resolution for you. Okay. So January, February, March, April, May. You're make, me, so, make, mar make me March for my exercise? So, it, well, it is the only uh, month that oh, has, you, it comes you, with a command. <laughs> March. That's uh, right. No, so the Mayflowers are going to bring you uh, weight loss, or I'm going to send you out on the Mayflower. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's not right. April yeah, flowers sure. bring May flowers. What do May flowers bring? Pilgrims. Pilgrims. And what yeah. do pilgrims bring? Disease. Smallpox and dysentery yeah. to native, <laughs> native <laughs> population. <laughs> right. Exactly. Uh-oh. Off track again. Damn. There he goes. Um, but free dinners. Okay. All you have yeah, to How do we get them? All you have to do is sign up for uh, Tinder or um, Plenty of Fish, or J-Date, or... Won't I get in trouble? Or Grinder, or Tinder. You said Tinder already. It was the first one. Oh, you must like that one the best. So, well, Grinder, Grinder is the one. Because everybody goes, well, yeah, sure, if you're a girl, you get, you know, get a dinner. But no, what you do is you swipe right, and you go out on a date with somebody, and you make okay. them buy dinner. You make them buy dinner. Yeah. Say, I'd love to go out with you. I think I just don't have any money if you could pay for the dinner. And then they go out to dinner with them on your date. Free dinner. Okay. And then you, and then you find out you're married. They say get lost loser, but you got your free dinner. Okay. Yeah. I, I I, all I said it was for a free dinner. I didn't say that. that was, I didn't say that there was anything else. Of course, course, Tinder or Grinder. I think it doesn't matter if you're married. Well, Tinder is good. Then there's Grinder. Then there's plenty of fish. Yeah. Um, J date, uh, Christian Mingle. I mean, there's a lot of them you can sign up. Oh, there's a ton of them. Yeah. Farmers only. Right? So there you go. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, 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 you get a free dinner. Uh, I was thinking about joining the Amish only one. Amish only? Yeah. How does that one work? 
I have no idea. How do you join it? A uh, technologically challenged person? I have no idea. Do you write, do you write, do you write a note, put it in a bottle, throw it in the ocean? According to the show that Susie likes to watch, or used to watch, um, at a certain point, the young Amish people leave, go into the regular world for a year. Yeah, called yeah, Rumspringer. Rumspringer. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh -huh. so, of course, they get to use technology. And, of course, they're on TV, so, you know. Rumspringer. R-U-M Springer. Okay. But the Urban Dictionary is Rum Springer. So, Rum Springer. Works for me. Rum Springer, also spelled Rum scrim Scrimpage or Rum Springer. Rite of passage during adolescent translation in English, jumping, hopping around. Used in Amish and Mennonite communities. Okay. Oh, see? I knew the so name have, of it. So, if they get on a pogo stick or play uh, and hopscotch, they're, they're jumping around. Mm. Got it. That's it. And hopping around, yeah. Pretty cool. smart, huh? You are. You are. Well, since we're talking about the Amish or the Mennonites, didn't they come from Germany? Uh, a lot of them did. Germany, Sweden, stuff like that. It's Northern Europeans. Northern Europeans. Mostly. Yeah. So they you were just, telling me the other day that you were like, you're glad you live in America because there's some laws in Germany that you're like, I don't think that uh, they're just well, weird. Some of them sort of make sense, but at the same time, they're a little bit odd because um, – where I live, there is a guy who has had like four DUIs, lost his license, lost his car. So when he goes to the bar and gets hammered, he rides his bike home. Well, apparently in Germany, you can't do that if you're inebriated. You ride a bike while you're inebriated, you get arrested. So what do they take away from you? Your bike license? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just, they, just, they arrest you. They arrest I guess you, you take away your license. They, I heard you got to go for therapy. No, that would make sense. Just give it back to you. You have to go for therapy because you okay. have addiction. And so it's not as easy to get a license. Well, it's probably as easy to get a license, just not as easy to keep it. This yes. This yet Andrew question. Ooh, yes. So we'll Mark need to write that it down. Question. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. You tell me to write it down. Yeah, I yeah. I don't see either one of us writing. I'm one know. of the controls here. I don't have a free hand. <laughs> I don't either. Where do you think my hand is? All right. Oh, no, it's over in the mouth. That's yeah. right. Uh-huh. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, I'm, I'm you know sorry. how much we love Halloween here? I love Halloween here. I certainly do, too. But did you know that if you go to a demonstration in Germany, you're not allowed to wear a mask? That makes sense. I mean, yes. they're starting to talk about, you know, like no Halloween masks or that when you go into 7-Eleven stores and that. You know, yes. Masks off. So they, they do that because they want to make sure that they can identify everybody when they're attacking the people, right? Yes. Okay, now here's one that I thought was completely bizarre. You are not allowed to carry a pillow outside or get into a pillow fight with it. Okay. Now, you know in San Francisco, then Union Square, which is a pretty big-sized park in, yes. in, in uh, San Francisco, they have right. a pillow fight every year. Yes. The largest pillow so fight. So obviously Germans would have to come here to do that so they can get it out of their system because if they do it there, it's considered a passive weapon. Really? Really. Okay. Did you read this one part in here? It says, and I quote, a passive weapon is something used to protect yourself against another weapon, like a Correct. bulletproof vest. <laughs> yeah, They're right. Like that's going to work. Okay. <laughs> You're comparing a pillow to a bullet. I, I don't think they understand how it works. <laughs> oh yeah i found that kind of interesting but that's right. why these are called weird laws so no all right so that one is a weird one no pillows in germany because you could use it as a bulletproof vest <laughs> okay yes. again i don't think it's working i don't think they're using it the right way if that's how they think it works exactly all right now 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 this is a law that is a little odd but i think it's a good law okay if you have an office in Germany, it must have a window. So you can jump, so you can jump out of it when you when the boss comes to yell at you. Every office must have a view of the sky, however small. Well, that's cool. Okay. Employers it, are legally obligated to set up their offices so that employees' health and lives are not in danger. Okay. See? Okay. Now that's a good okay. law, right? Weird, but uh, good. Okay. I. <laughs> I don't know of anybody who is setting up an office, not 
complying with the the employee's health and life is not in danger. But having a window and having a view, that's pretty cool. I'd like I that. I agree. That would be nice. Exactly. Now, I'm going to reference – nah, I won't. Never mind. Good. Yeah, I know. I just realized that would just not make sense. Okay. Here's something kind of interesting. I'm – I'm assuming if I check into this a little more, it is, does not have any kind of weird sexual connotations, but there's no drilling on Sundays. There's no drilling on Sunday. I don't know what that means. What kind of drilling? Well, see, that's why I was wanted to be careful. Apparently, Germans take their day of rest very seriously. Shops are shut. People take leisurely walks, and there will be absolutely no domestic drilling. It's against the law. Drill okay. on any time on Sunday. I don't know what just happened to mine, but I go to try to go to the next one, and I can't get yep. it. You have to pan down a little bit and hit click to continue in the blank black box. All right, so I'm going to hit next here to try and catch up to you. And I see it. Oh, wow, that's crazy. But it didn't work. Oh, there it is. I'm back. He's so back, the, the ladies guy, and gentlemen. He has a drill in his hand. Yes, but it must not be Sunday because he doesn't want to get arrested. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? Did you also notice that throwing away bottles in the recycling bins is also strictly forbidden? Uh, during certain hours. In other words, uh, you know, I'll tell you this. In, in the, is, it, is it making noise? Is that what really what they're – because of the day yeah. of rest? Because it's a day of yes. rest, right? Yeah, but this is, this is not just on Sunday. So they don't want you making noise. Well, no, it says right here, no drilling on Sundays. German take their day of rest very seriously. Shops yes. Shut. People take their leisurely walks and absolutely no domestic drilling. Thank you very yes. much. But the, this part here about the recycling the bottles and stuff is not just for Sunday. That's any day. Oh, um, really? Yes. Because, as you know, I have a bar kitty corner across the street from my house here. And in the summertime, when it's nice out, not hot yet, uh -huh. you, summer, open? you got the windows open at 2 o'clock in the morning when they're dumping all the empty bottles into the bin. Oh, my God. It scares the crap out of you. Okay. Because, you know, you're dozing off. And so that's another rule I can get into. All right. So what's next? What's our next weird German? Okay. Rule? The next one is they Germans do not like Elton John. No? Oh, no, that's not what it says. You cannot tune a piano. What? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. At no, night. No, that can't be right. <laughs> At night. All right, well, it's got to be, a, again, with the making the noise thing. It, it is, but it says piano tuning. Germans like their peace and quiet. It's string, uh, string for button, strictly Revolt. forbidden. You tune your piano at night. <laughs> you play it at night? Yeah, I guess so. You All just right, their concerts it. are going to be really sucky. Yeah, well, what I'm thinking is when you're playing a piano, it's melodic and it's acceptable, okay? But when you're tuning the piano, it's, Ding, ding, it's off key. Ding, 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 ding. That, that can be very annoying. I can understand okay. that. Okay. Um, I, I, chimney sweeps. But I'm trying to figure out what part of chimney sweeps is illegal. It's easier for a chimney sweep to access your home than it is for the police. It's against the law to deny a chimney sweep. Oh, they have to have access no matter what. That's what it is. That's cool. Oh. A chimney sweep. Because what? They, they, they're afraid that uh, if you don't get it clean, the chimney sweep says, hey, I need to come in and clean it. You're not letting me clean it and the house would burn down? Uh, possibly. But from what I'm seeing here, that law was first introduced in the Middle Ages. But the current legislations go back to the Third Reich. By giving the chimney sweeps a fixed wage and assigning them districts, Hitler could, would ensure the loyalty of his country's chimney sweeps, which meant he could use them to spy on citizens. Oh, well, that sounds like a problematic yeah. The chimney sweeps are there to spy on you. I, I, I don't agree. think I like that. I, I don't, I, I'm not giving you access to my house. And I would get yeah. in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all right. Now, now, talking about police officers, the next one is you, by law, must be polite to police officers. Really? Yes. That wouldn't work here in, in the United States. Uh, no, <laughs> I mean, it would be nice. It would be nice if people did that. However, that, that's not. I mean, have you ever seen uh, "Bad Boy, Bad Boy"? What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Yeah, they're they're always struggling with the police. But 
Well, so what? If you struggle with a police officer, they can arrest you? They're arresting you already. Well, actually, no. Here's where it's important. Um, it is important to address them uh, as Z, not D. Uh, which I don't know what that means. Kind of, it, like Sprechen Sie Deutsch is do you speak German? Um, you speak police? I, 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 I was, because it's not hair or sir or anything, but apparently do is um, familiar. In other words, friendly and buddy, buddy, buddy. Uh, okay, it's, so you just can't be mean to. It says it's, I don't know what 600 lira are. Is that lira? That's a sign for lira, right? Uh, or is it? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Is that a, yeah. is that a euro? No, it's got to be the euro symbol because they're in, they, they're on the euro. I'm yeah, sure. Of okay. Well, but we that's kind of no cool. What we're talking about here. So anybody no, from Germany, no. comment on the bottom down there. Help us out. We need we need some help. Uh, but yeah, if you're not polite to the police officer, they can find you. I like it. Now. This is something that I knew about, but I didn't know about when I was on vacation. I uh, knew about the national anthem. Starts out, Deutschland, Deutschland, Uber Right. Okay? What that means is uh, Germany, Germany, above everything. Okay. It was the national anthem sung by the Nazis during the Third White. It has been banned since the end of World War II. You cannot sing that first verse when you were singing their national anthem. Do they play it? And you can't sing it? The music is the same, but they take, you just take out that first verse. It was the first verse because it was part of Nazi Germany. Yes. When I was uh, on vacation uh, on a cruise, we were, had some uh, German couple there. And, and I asked them because they, you know, they were singing the national anthem. I says, I thought it started out differently than that. And, and she says, no, it does not. I says, what about Deutschland, Deutschland, Deutschland? And she had this horrified look on her face, right? And I didn't understand it. Now I know why. Because she wouldn't even talk about it. Well, how did you know the other part? I, I'm a huge geek fan of, yeah. Well, but I'm thinking, not only do I like Westerns, I also really enjoy war movies. Because I, mm -hmm. I, like, I like that whole good, you know, heroes doing everything they can to make things better. Yeah. You know me. Okay. If you say so. so. So I've watched pretty much every single world, you know, war movie there is. And, of course, a lot of them have to do with Germany. Okay. So now number 10. Number 10. You this is it. can Last. only serve beer brewed in Germany that has been certified by the German purity law during Oktoberfest. So during Oktoberfest, the month of celebration of beer and brats, yes. we serve German beer. German beer, yes. No American beer, no Belgian beer, no nothing. German beer only. But didn't Evan and Andrew tell us that uh, actually uh, Belgian, Belgian beer is better? <laughs> yes. So you got to drink the worst beer. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. But how right, cool is well, that, huh? There's your, there's your top 10 weird uh, rules in Germany. I thought they were pretty cool. That is pretty cool. So the thing I take away from it, though, is that a pillow cannot be used as a bulletproof. I know. <laughs> even though they say. They now, now, I can't tell you how many whodunit shows I've seen on TV where they stick the pillow up against the It's a silencer. It's a silencer, yes. But it, 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 no. it, 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 so it, it obviously not does not work as a bulletproof mask. Pillows, they did not stop it. So, so the reason you can't carry a pillow is because you could use it as a passive weapon or to stop as a bulletproof. No. Yeah. Not, <laughs> I think that's no. pretty funny. I'm thinking no. So let's switch over to pets. We got a little I bit of time. I love over. pets. But did you know that some people think that it's acceptable to return a dog because it's too nice? Those are people who shouldn't have dogs in the first place. That's what I'm thinking. I have always thought most dogs take on the personality of their owners. If, if you're a good person, um, even a mean dog will sooner or later calm down around you, just the way it is. Right. And if you ever, ever watched any of the uh, Caesar Milan uh, shows or anything like that, he kind of he shows that or proves that out. You know, the dog yes. barking, yelling, screaming, he walks in and the dog's like, ah, ha, ha. 
Yep. It's, you know. However, apparently, um, there was a dog, Helena the Wonder Dog, was returned. Named after the because she got returned. Yes. The Wonder Dog. Yes. She got returned to a shelter in Atlanta for being too nice. Apparently, her previous owner wanted an aggressive watchdog, and Helena is not aggressive. She would lick everybody almost to death. That which is the perfect dog you want to have. It's a great pet. And, exactly. And if you do that, then she'll protect you. Like even Nala, now that she's starting to realize that, you know, we're not going to abuse her and, and, and we're her family now. Yes. Is when somebody can just start barking at, rah, 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 you know, not to we, growl, but to let us know that, uh, hey, correct. I'm warning you. That's what Scooby-Doo does here. I mean, I, I kid you not. She gets a mohawk like uh, okay, Mr. T. So, you need to back up. We need to go in a, a time machine that you have. Who's Scooby-Doo? Oh, my brother-in-law's dog. Remember my brother-in-law lives with me? I do. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, my brother-in-law lives with me in my house, and he has a dog and a cat. How's that? Yeah. And the dog's name is Scooby-Doo, not the cat. Well, her dog name is actually Do. Her D dog? W. Her, her name. You said brother-in-law. My brother-in-law. said her dog. Oh, I thought, His I, dog meant to say, I thought I meant to say her name is Dew like Mountain Dew, D-E-W. Oh, okay. That's it? So okay. it's just Dew? Yes. But, uh, you know, we call her Scoobs a lot because of Scooby-Doo. You know, even though it's spelled differently, it, it just okay. worked. Cool. But um, she's the same thing. I mean, somebody comes to the door, even somebody she knows, barks up a storm, and she gets a mohawk like Mr. T. Is it that time already? It's past that time already. Okay, real quick. Here's the good news. She was taken back on Monday, and she had new parents by Wednesday. That's awesome. And somebody who's probably going to treat her right. But, I mean, yes. that's, just, that's just wrong, treat a dog like that. So, again, the, uh, the contest continues on through the month of March. Through the month of March. Through the March it of ends, March. It ends at the end of March 2018. We are giving away this awesome poster, which I got from What Happened in Las Vegas today, which John Payne signed. I will send the picture of John Payne signing it as proof of authenticity. What happened in Las Vegas today? Presented to you. What happened in Las Vegas today? John Payne. Hi. I want that poster. How do you get it, Scott? Well, it's really easy. You go to Steve's house and you offer him $5,000. Oh, no. It's yes. a lot easier than yes. that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Work too. It's a lot easier than that. All you have to do is, if you are not a subscriber and you just catch, caught our show, Subscribe to our show, What Happened to the World Today. Subscribe to Steve's show, What Happened to Las Vegas Today. Subscribe to my show, uh, Fun Guy the Entertainer. That gives you three entries into this contest. But you Plus, have to comment. You have to make the comment on I any of our videos. I want the poster. Yes. Say, I want I, the poster and I'll get you an entry. Yes. Now, here's the other thing. If you are already a subscriber, what do you do? What do you do if you're already a subscriber? You get yes. somebody else to subscribe. Correct. And you tell them, hey, Lucky Boy 75 said I should subscribe, and we both want the poster, which will give you another entry in and Lucky Boy an entry in. So that's the opportunity that. for you to get three more entries into the poster. So subscribe, Simple. like our other shows and channels, What Happened in Las Vegas Today, Fun Guy the Entertainer, and of course, as always, please subscribe to What Happened to the World Today. So with that, I want to thank you for watching. And if you feel our show is not a bad life decision, then please subscribe, like, watch our other shows and channels. Put your entry in for that poster. I want you to live every day, and we'll see you at the next show. Have a good one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.